what's up guys we got an airsoft review of the echo one special edition daniel offense 12 inch version of the burl they also come in nine and six i think quote don't quote me i might be wrong but this is uh i got, I got an evike for about 190 it was on sale pretty cool and i'm just gonna go through the uh the externals of the gun first and talk about what it comes with and all that all that good stuff so um it's a high strength polymer receiver now you may be thinking, oh, because it's polymer, you're not going to get it because it's not full metal. But, you know, I've seen comments, people saying on the, the Evike comment section, talking about how, you know, if they should get it because it's it's not full metal, if they should get it or not because it's not full metal. But I think it's a good idea. It's really durable from, from experience, and it's just, it feels awesome. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And over here, you got your um, metal barrel assembly. It is a free fall barrel, so I do recommend a block to keep it from moving a little bit, but that's not too, too, too big of a problem. I really don't think it's going to affect the accuracy. It has a retractable crane stock, of course, and it has full metal, fully upgradable 8mm bearings version 2 gearbox. And it also comes with a tactical skull frog receiver, full licensed Daniel Defense trademarks on the RIS, which I will zoom in and show you up here. And it has uninterrupted top rail that runs the length of the receiver and tube, which also comes with a you know, the free floating barrel design. Which the inner barrel is 363 millimeters and the magazine capacity which is right here i'll do a close-up of everything i have the magazine capacity is 300 rounds high cap compatible with uh you know but you know, most your standard um companies that make m4 guns you know it, it's gonna work with most most of your m4s uh companies yeah i'm pretty sure anyway put that down here and the uh threaded it, it has a third barrel which i will show you in another video, my like modification to it, I'm making a, I'm making a DMR. It comes with a third of barrel, 14 millimeter negative, with a version two gearbox, fully upgradable, long type motor, obviously, and the fire modes are, you know, full auto, semi, and safety. I'm gonna try to make this gun only shoot semi because I'm gonna make it a DMR. Pretty cool. Hopefully, I don't know if I could do that. I'm not even know. I'm probably gonna fuck something up like always. It comes with the. Um... Oh, here's the thing. On the website, it does not mention the sights or the battery which is pretty interesting because i was flipping shit when i was gonna get this gun because they told me it didn't say anything about getting a battery or sights so i didn't buy those sights over there i got them from before and those ba the batteries are the one that came with the gun now i bought an extra battery but little did i know it comes with this battery right here this is a yeah i'm sorry i forgot to mention that this is a butterfly style battery i mean you could obviously tell that <laughs> but i just didn't mention it in the video i thought i wouldn't mention it now you know, didn't say that. Also, the sights aren't there. I don't have them right now. My friend has them, but it does come with sights, as you can see. Wait, you don't see anyway. How am I saying? My, my friend has my sights, but there aren't sights that you could take off, you know, front and back. They're pretty cool. Actually, nice looking quality, so it does come with sights. So it doesn't say it, but it actually does come with sights. It's lying to you for some reason. I don't know why, but <laughs> it comes with sights. And, you know, I'm just going to kind of go in with the gun here. I'm going to mess around with it, as you can see on the... Uh, on this side, I already took the thing out. You can't really see that well, but it says uh, duty and honor on it. And on here, it shows a uh, skull. It shows a skull with. I'll get, I'll get a better view of this. Uh, the pictures on these sides, and as you can see, retractable stock. And the only issue is taking the. The only issue I had was taking the stock apart, or the back of the stock apart, where you had to press this button. At first, it was kind of really hard to take off, but you know, after a while, you get used to it. And another issue I was having was, this was coming off, you gotta glue this. I'm not sure if it's a My Gun Defect or if it's uh, any other gun, you know, that made this, if it's a problem or not. But for me, it, it's coming off, I have to glue it and everything like that. But overall, I think the gun is really good. I tested the accuracy on it, and I will do a t accuracy test in another video. And the accuracy is amazing, you know, it's a really good gun. The accuracy is just steady, you know, once you get your hop up right, it's a really steady gun now. I have, uh, this is the standard mag it comes with, and I'm also, uh, I purchased this GNG little magazine here to make it fit a DMR type, which I will be doing a review on, um, my modded version of it later. Right now, it, um, only this is the standard mag it comes with, it. and it comes with a charger, as you can see here, uh, I'll, I'll do a zoom in later, but it's a 10 volt charger, pretty cool, and, you know, it's not no cheap shit. Well, I don't know, is it cheap shit? Tell me if it's cheap shit. And yeah, that's basically it with the gun. I'll do a close up on everything, and you know, in the video you'll see that. And I think this gun is so far, from what I can tell, it's worth the price. It's a pretty fucking awesome gun. It looks really cool. It's it's not even that heavy. It looks if you if you're using that battery, it's gonna be a little bit heavier on the stock area. But for general um, use, the gun is really light, and you can move around quickly with it. The only issue 
there's another issue. It does not come with a little thing to, uh, I don't know what it's called right now. I don't have the name for it. I'm sorry, I'm not professional. Fuck. To, to put a, um, sling on it. So what I did was I wrapped my one-point sling around the back there of the gun. You can't really see from here, but I wrapped a one-point sling, like, around here. Like, it, it's not, like, not, it's, it's kind of ghetto. You'll, you'll see what I mean in my, uh, mod video. But it's kind of ghetto, but I kind of wrapped a little bit, a little bit of a one-point sling there. You can't really do it off the buy a little thing for it to put on. So that's, I guess, like, that's loose. I guess that's a con in some way. So the only con- Oh! Oh! And another big issue I've had with this gun was taking that fucking orange tip off. That orange, um, thing that they have to ship it with, that thing over there. It was a bitch take off. I tried cutting it with, you know, some shit I tried to, like, using the fucking boiling shit. And little did I know, it had, like, little rivets inside it to, um, keep it from coming off for some fucking reason. I don't know what they're doing. They want, they want me to go crazy. So I had to get a, uh, a bone saw and cut it off with a bone saw, like, completely. I chipped a little bit of the, the threads on it. And it comes with, like, this little, um, this little rubber piece to keep it from doing something. I don't, I forgot what happened. I forgot what it does, but I'll zoom in on everything so you get a better shot of everything. So yeah, that's basically my review on the Daniel Fence 12-inch version of the um, Daniel Fence Echo 1 rifle. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace, bitch.